What is up, guys? I'm I'm a little too excited right now because I, uh, <laughs> we got a nice aluminum channel construction handle on bearings trainer in stock, and this thing is like ridiculously good for the price. Okay, so I'm talking like under forty bucks shipped, and this thing is just. Get the, mm, the the handle play is like oh, no, 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 no. like you can you can tell like you if you know you know I mean like this is ridiculously good there is no tap there's no latch on this it's this just a trainer but you got this dagger style blade going on here we have a, a couple other blade options okay there's a stain here I'll give it that but remember, under $40, okay? You can rub that out with your favorite polish, okay? I, I'm not trying to pretend like this isn't like something that you would get straight out of the box. I did not lube this. You've got bearings in the pivots. You've got not press fit Zen pins, but you've got screw Zen pins, okay? T6, T8, and they might actually be T9. But I mean, come on. Like, like, there are people that are selling trainers of this caliber for 100, 150. This thing doesn't have a brand name on it, okay? You remember when you went to Aldi's and your mom was like, why do you need to buy the Cocoa Puffs when you can get the Aldi Puffs and they taste the same? They're probably made in the same factory. Your mom was right. She was absolutely right. Don't buy brands, okay? Buy products. The proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the Cocoa Puffs. Listen to the sounds this thing makes. I'm just gonna shut up and stop talking. You got the center groove for a little grip. Everything's chamfered and smooth. So that you don't wreck your beautiful manicured nail. Just kidding. Everything is just, this thing is like really, really good for the price. And I'm not trying to exaggerate here. I'm not trying to be all salesy because I sell these. I'm, I, this is the best trainer I've ever carried. I hate to say it. <clears throat> it's made in China. Okay. China's doing some wonderful things. The same factory that makes our titanium balisong, our dub, also makes this one. Okay, so if that's saying anything, like you shouldn't even be surprised. So please give this one a consideration. It comes in a nice gray. It comes in a beautiful anodized red. Overall weight on this sucker is, let's see. The overall weight is 3.9 ounces, okay? It's very neutral. It's not blade biased or handle biased as far as I can tell. It's just a really nice flipper. And I, my flipping skills are potato because I just, I'm too busy selling knives to practice my flipping skills. I need to get better. I know. I know, guys. Uh, I mean, how much more respect are you going to give a knife dealer than a knife dealer that knows how to flip? But I, I know the basic opening and closing. I, I can't. I can't even like do anything, any tricks under this tight little camera setup anyways without busting my cell phone. So I think you guys will understand. But overall blade length is 4.375 inches. The close length is five and a half. Overall length is 9.875. You got a nice, you know, gently stonewashed or kind of a matte finish on the blade. Um, stainless steel ball bearings. T9 main pivot screws with the T6 Torx Zen pins, which you're not even going to have to touch because this thing is thread locked from the factory. So I even tried, you know, disassembling one just to kind of like get into the guts. And I'm like, this thing's thread locked so well that I don't even need to do this. So, you know, whether you're looking for a really good quality trainer just for a gift or for yourself or just for another beater, I mean, you're not even going to care if you like you're going to drop a trainer a million times. You're not going to care if you bust this thing up because it was under $40 shipped, right? And it ships from Connecticut, United States. It doesn't get drop shipped. 
we stock these here so you know first class shipping give it a two three days and normal conditions and you know that's when it's gonna hit your mailbox so i don't know i i just they sent me a sample and i was like okay okay and as soon as i started flipping it i'm like this thing is really good i i, I couldn't even believe that we would be able to sell it at this price point and you know make a little cut for us and and also be able to pass the savings on it just makes you wonder like this industry is crazy overcharging for what they're selling i the i didn't say it but you know let's let's talk about the elephant in the room what do you guys think i mean hit me up in the comment section below thank you guys and we appreciate your support.